Buffalo's moving image history, this moment of anguish and ultimate heroism is surely one of the most moving and enduring moments ever captured through the lens of a television news camera. It was Bill Cantwell's camera. Shocking experience, and it wasn't until afterwards that it, I kind of, you know, it kind of, it started to hit me that what we had done and what we had seen. Bill Catwell's footage of the rescue of the infant from the burning house and the firefighter overcome by smoke will forever be a testament to the courage of Buffalo's bravest and to the news photographers who capture the drama of life and help us understand the meaning of sacrifice and hope. <laughs> we had to show that story. It was, it was imperative. It was, a, it, it was a living example of how brave those firefighters were. Don't you worry, little sorry. Bill Cantwell found the majestic in the souls of everyday people. Who else is going to go for the little guy if we don't? Bill was a teenager when the Nazis bombed London during World War II and once came within 200 yards of an explosion. When I left home in the morning, frankly, we didn't really know if we were going to see each other when we came home that night. He worked in the Ministry of Information and met some of the great war photographers whose pictures he developed, including some of the first images of the Holocaust. Bill had become intrigued with American life during a visit to the States and worked his way into fledgling Channel 7, creating the news film department for the station. This is Transatlantic, the program with an international view. Bill created Transatlantic, an analysis of world events through the eyes of the man on the street in both Buffalo and London. Produced in Buffalo, New York by Dynamic International, from a concept by Bill Cantwell. Buffalo and TV news had seduced me. He became fascinated with American politics and especially intrigued by the political prowess of Buffalo Mayor Frank Sedita. We will not tolerate a violation of the law. Mayor Sedita was fantastic. He reveled in being mayor. Bill blossomed as a photojournalist with a special love for the Queen City and its people, and eventually brought his special touch over to Channel 4 in 1965. He never backed down from a challenge, and when a suspect tried to take out his camera, this picture found its way to news outlets all over the world. This is a day to be remembered in Western New York. This marks the final day that you will be able to see the events of the world around us through the camera lens of Billy Cantwell. When Bill retired from WIVB-TV in 1988, former Channel 4 writer and producer Ray Finch paid him the highest compliment. He was really an artist with a camera. And he always had a little knack of uh, adding uh, something to a film that uh, was his own trademark. He covered the people in power and even royalty over the years took his camera to places far out of reach to the little guy. We're privileged. We can go where the other people can't go. We get a ringside seat on history. Always a man of humility, he says he is humbled by his induction into the Buffalo Broadcasters Hall of Fame. I'm still surprised. I reckon I owe Buffalo more than it owes me. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Thank you, Bill, for all you gave to Buffalo and to the broadcast industry here for more than three decades. <laughs>